And the uh, winner, Sportsman's Class, Extreme Veterans 2018, with a score of 214, 3X, and a $1,000 annually in catch certificate, Dakota! trophies that old Tom Adams from Tomcat Air Guns made. And these are really pretty, really nice. Um, anyhow, um, sportsman's class, first place. Um, tell you right now that if it would have been for the Lord and friends, <laughs> I couldn't have done it. Um, Lord being the wind worked out just in my favor. Um, that's all I'm going to tell you. But anyhow, so friends, um, one thing, uh, Utah Air Guns, um, they did an amazing tune on this crown right here, and I'm not going to tell you the numbers, but I'm going to tell you right now that it's very nice, um, very consistent. The scope that I won with was this SWFA Fix 20, um, but uh, I've been using this Aztec 5.5 to 25, and I uh, really like it. Um, it's got the original Aztec um, uh, rectangle. Um, but it's in first focal plane, which means whenever you zoom in on it, it doesn't change your um, your spacing. Um, if it's a mill, it stays, or milliradian, it stays milliradian. Or this, for example, this scope is an MOA, and it, once you, whenever you zoom it in, it doesn't change your um, spacing. It's, it stays true MOA throughout the full zoom length. Anyhow, um, friends, um, like I said, um, Utah, they did an amazing tune on it for me, and um, this Atlas uh, bipod right here, it was given to me by uh, Robert Buchanan and uh, Greg Glover from Air Guns of Arizona this last year, and that uh, really helped out. Um, also, um, there was a guy, I don't quite remember his first name, I may be saying this wrong, but his name, uh, either his first or last, was Surratt, um, he's the guy who drives around in the wheelchair. And um, he helped me out big time because I don't have my own, I didn't bring this air tank, um, my SCBA tank, um, because we didn't have enough room going up there. Um, and he helped me out big time by letting me borrow one of his uh, air tanks for the second day. Um, and the first day, um, Joe Broncato helped me out and uh, let me use one of his air tanks. So anyhow, friends and uh, some awesome people. Also, um, Speed Silhouette. I didn't do that well in it this year um, because I had to borrow um, this feller's uh, streamline, uh, same caliber, 25 um, streamline, but uh, I didn't have my bipod and uh, it's kind of a rough ordeal not having your own equipment, but I made it work and um, I'm really thankful for that guy. But uh, anyhow, um, like I said, how did I win? Um, Shooting to the best of my abilities, um, using my ciders, and uh, having a really good tune on the gun. I mean, that's, and uh, the Lord helping out with the wind. That's the only thing that I can tell you. <laughs> so, um, that's how I won. Um, now, uh, the in the description, you'll see that uh, this video features... Um, Ted Beer, Matt Dubber, and uh, Frederick Axelson. Um, that's the video they all are about to watch. Um, they're at the end of the banquet whenever everything is wrapping up. Uh, I was all lost in the moment and all ecstatic. And uh, but uh, my dad, um, he uh, he was recording, and um, he recorded this moment. Um, but uh, oh yeah, and also couldn't do it without my dad. Um, he's the one who started me in it. And uh, this last year, um, 
whenever he got my streamline. Me and him both bought my streamline. That's what I competed with last year. And uh, he's like, hey, we're going to go to Extreme Bench Dress. I was like, what? Really? And he's like, yeah. And uh, so go. And if y'all watch my first year experience videos that I have on, um, you'll see how awesome and uh, crazy excited I was. And uh, like I said, I couldn't have done it without. Couldn't have won without the Lord, friends, and my dad. And this feller back here. He's my cameraman, and uh, he's my daddy, and uh, like I said, I couldn't done without him. So, anyhow, um, y'all enjoy this video that y'all are about to watch with Ted, Matt, and Frederick, and uh, y'all take care. This has been Dakota Enix, or the Lord's Marksman, and y'all have a blessed day. All right. Not just yet. Um, after going over the video before I was going to edit it and post it, I realized that I failed to mention what moderator I actually used um, to win with. Um, and that is this um, Trident moderator. And um, it's from Ramness Technologies, I believe. Um, if you look up on Instagram, uh, Tom Grangberg or Ramness Technology or maybe even the Trident uh suppressor um, or moderator you may be able to find um, all the pictures and the diagrams on how it's all designed and everything um, but pretty much um, they did a lot of work to it and uh, made it to where it's I believe it's 3d printed um, plastic internals and um, if you were to put it on a powder burner um, it'd blow it'd blow apart um, anyhow um, the reason why I got this tried it um, was because of uh, Claudio from Patagonia Air Guns who actually won um, Extreme Bench Rest in Pro Class and the guy who actually came behind one point if I would have been in Pro Class. Um, I shot a 214 with three X's and I believe that he shot a 215 with two X's I believe. Don't quote me on it but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I have to look at the scoring again. But anyhow um, he's like yeah he's like I saw it there on his brocock he's like yeah man he's like it's very nice he's like, I really like that muzzle brake and um that's a add-on feature that you can get with it um but anyhow i was like guys yeah, it's very nice i was like oh okay cool i'll try it and asked the guys there at aoa and uh, i ended up liking it and so that's what i used there um to win uh sportsman's class and also this hat uh the paper trails hat um it was really cool um matt dubber from air arms hunting south africa that you're about to see um it's off of one of his uh vapor trails is actually a series on his channel and um he makes some hats oh i don't have a cameraman uh sorry about that <laughs> i just got it set up here um anyhow um it's one of his series on youtube and uh, he said there was like i think there's 10 in the world and i got one of them and that's really cool um but uh anyhow um but that being said um this has been dakota enix or the lord's marksman and y'all take care and have a blessed day Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. And he just scores One point. Remember me, the first year? One point. And now the cone is in that. And now you're through. Yeah. 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 Are you shooting with the crown? 30 caliber crown. And he had access. He had the access to win. One more point. And he swept the whole thing. As a sportsman, he swept the whole thing. So he, so one more point. One more point. Here you got it. You have five thousand dollar check. Name on the plaque would have been Dakota. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. No, no. <laughs> wow. But now you know you can shoot. This is the same sure. kid. The same kid that last year said. How many people? Are Jeff, what's my hold at hundred? Yeah. What's my hold at hundred? I'm like. Da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, hold, hold fifteen high. Sixty. No, the sixteen high. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Frederick wouldn't have been on the podium either. He was in third class. Oh yeah. <laughs> so he uh, so he you were in pro you to bump it. Just Thank absorb you. it, man. Yeah, I would just absorb it. Just absorb it. Enjoy it. Oh, just it's good though. No, just it's your day. It's a good day, just live it. Take it in. <laughs>
I know you're a humble kid, man, but David just walked a little, a little bit taller. A little bit taller.